All right. Rahubat, greetings. Um, if you could say your name, where you're calling from, and then ask your question, please. Rahubat Sikhen. Um, My name is Tishane. I'm calling from California. Rahubat. Um, first of all, much love for all the content you've been putting out. Much love. Um, uh, Thank you. I, I got two uh, silly questions, really. I just... Um, want to know where does uh Wusabat stand on capitalism mm -hmm. you know like just exchanging stuff for money like where does Wusabat you know stand on that and um i guess the second question is seeing that we were modified by the anunnaki doesn't like or does that affect the way we interact with reality and you know in the grand scope of things our overall destiny Mm -hmm. Yeah, in terms of where we stand with capitalism, or more appropriately, economics, is we are royalty. We're supposed to not go without. We're supposed to have everything we need. And so um, we're, we're a thriving community worldwide. So we don't have an issue with building wealth. We are wealthy people. The gold you see on us represents that wealth. And in ancient... Um, Tamare or, you know, Africa, it's where all the riches are from, the gold, the platinum, the cobalt, the, you know, the diamonds, the silver, everything is, is put under our feet. Um, it's, it's down to us to utilise it to be wealthy. Um, so we, we don't have a problem with economics. Now, you have to be aware that uh, money it's a tool that is used to control people and this is where the term the love of money is a is, is a root to all evil because people start to love the the money the fictitious money the fiat system which is really a debt-based system um you know people will kill for it do all kinds of crazy things for it so we don't advocate that and um so yeah in terms of your your first question we, we we need to know how to yeah generate and um, generate finances and and do things in the proper way so we can sustain ourselves do for self that's what the master teacher teaches and i um read that you know we have to do for self um you know what the second part of the question has just escaped me what was the second part of the question again um uh what's the second part of the question yeah. Yeah, please call him back because, uh, yeah, it's just escaped me. Um, it will come back. Does the master teacher have the power of invisibility or to levitate since he has a vast of... Yeah, he does. Um, but the thing is, this is Hakim Shahada. It's it's really not about the master's um, power to, to invisibility, levitate, and, and so on, because he has put out, uh, or his sister put out a book called um, uh, My Brother the Extraterrestrial that goes, and he put out The Man of Miracles many years ago. There are many books that, but the thing is, it's not about him and what his powers are. It's about how he gives you the ability for you to have those powers and for you to do what you need to do. Um, Sometimes that question is trying to allude to why he's incarcerated, for example. But every single leader that has come to this planet, no matter who it is, had to go through these tests of trials and tribulations. And most of them were incarcerated, abused, or even end up being killed for teaching the right knowledge and the right wisdom and the right understanding. So... Yeah, it's not about what the master has, it's about us and what we need to be able to do and activate and to come together by way of his teachings. The miracle is in the teachings and the information and the knowledge. Do you remember now? Yeah, it was about Anunnaki and modifying us. That's right. Yeah, so um, when we say the Anunnaki and modifying us, it doesn't apply to everyone. Not everybody falls under... The Anunnaki, as we say, there are beings that are directly related to the, the Natharu and there are branches of us 
who are, are, relate, are related to the Anunnaki by way of the mixtures. Um, but this is where most people are not able to use much of their brain. They tell you, scientists tell you that you, most people use less than 10% of their brain. And this is where Wusabak comes in, is to activate and give you back your powers and the ability to start to use more of your brain to reprogram you by way of your DNA. You see, this is where the arrangement of those, you know, the ACGT, um, you know, when you look at the ladders on the, um, on the double helix, the different arrangement of those sequences is what reprograms you. And that can be done by way of the, um, the information or the out formation to information. This is why it's important for you to study and put into practice Partaruk and uh, actual facts and master secret. That's what they are designed to do, to give you back your powers. And then ultimately, you will get your barathry gland replaced. Now, when you're dealing with replace, the replacement of the barathry gland, right? this is a gland that we once had that, when you're talking about this being maimed thing, is because the way the glands work, because some people say, how do you know that this gland existed? The master gives us the diagrams of the brain. When you cut on like a view of the brain, you see how these glands are in sockets, right? And if you imagine a socket with a ball in it, or different sockets with balls in it, if one of them happens to not have a ball in it, but you can see the remnants of what would have been a ball, because when it was surgically removed, it's, it had to be done in a way not to damage the, the entire uh, socket for the gland. So this is able to be reinserted, but because of the technology of the, um, the extraterrestrials, our ancestors, they can literally stop, take you away, replace it and put you back and you wouldn't even know because it's, it's done in the, in the blink of an eye. And he explained that it would be done through your submental, which is this area here where they're able to, they don't even have to cut you because you're porous and they have technology that can go through, literally open your, your pores up, insert it, do the operation, knit you back up and you won't even notice. And your abilities and certain things you'll be able to do would just start happening. Um, and there are other children that are golden children that just need to be touched or activated by way of the master's tone, um, reading the scrolls, many ways that he will activate different people in their dreams and so on and so forth. So um, you have the ability to get that back. And it's how you know how you will do it is by how much you put in, in terms of how sincere you are, because you have to prove you're worthy. You know, they can't just give you power that you can abuse. So everyone has the ability to be um, tested and to be, to be worthy, you know. So, yeah, it's all down to you. Um, how much you put in, how much you study, how much you, how much you are really about turning yourself back inside out.